Oh 
It takes patience. It takes a lot of patience and time to bring adjustments into maturity unity, and unity. Taking time to work on it with God's help will, will bring results. It takes right choices. Making right choices is very important to unity. Choose to be obedient, kind, loving, and patient. Set your minds to not rebel, but to always make right choices. It takes perseverance. You must never give up. Isaac and Levette, I am going to, I'm going to challenge you. Never, never get up. In other words, you need to make decisions to be perfected in the unity with Jesus and with your spouse. It takes total commitment. To have total commitment, there must not be split loyalties. You must give up your old loves and not look back. You must, it is necessary for you to completely cut loose from the past and commit yourself to your spouse to find true unity developing in your relationship. There's a popular theory that proposes that marriage is a 50-50 relationship with each partner giving 50%. Even though this may sound good, it was never God's plan. A 50-50 relationship is a formula for divorce. I've seen it happen. God demonstrated total giving for us when he gave his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. 
Total giving will work in marriage and it will bring true unity. This, this marriage is 100 and 100, each person giving 100%. The last, the last thing I want to speak to you about right now is total trust. Resentment and anger and not being able to trust only causes resistance, which kills faith and love. Trust is earned. You earn it by proving yourself. Once trust is broken, it is hard to build back, and sometimes it's even impossible. Be true to your wedding vows and be trustworthy. The Bible says this in Matthew Chapter 19, verses 5 and 6, it says, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one. So they no longer are two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Don't let it, I like that. Thank you. Don't let anything come between you. Guard this relationship. If you're ready to continue, Will you please step forward with me? Why do it together as one? But is that inner sense of love and commitment that each of you feels within your soul? Isaac, do you take a bit to be your wedded wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her? and respect her. Will you share all life has to offer, your hopes and dreams, your achievements and disappointments with her from this day forward? If so, will you say I will? I will. Oh, <laughs> 
about to introduce is dear to my heart. She's getting married in September. And me, my country, my spirit. My dear Angie. <laughs> she did laugh. You know, me, my country, people, we don't want to say thank you because we have support each other. We just want to bless you for that. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome in my dear Angie. Angie Koso and my brother.
Thank you. Quickly here, quickly here. Ladies and gentlemen, we will welcome my dear sister, Mrs. Venus Miller and my dear brother, Brother Dallas K. Mont.
Thank you. Thank you. Una ni nima country. You can hear that. Ya go nima. Yes. We about to do something powerful, meaningful. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Are you ready?
me one. Let's do it.
the bar. I believe you are sitting on table one, two, or three. Please come and give a special remark and a toast. Parents of the bride, there we go. Good evening to all. The people of Lima Kande here, the friends of the people of Lima Kande, and all that are gathered here this evening to bring this occasion. Once again, I'm Edward Wimber, father of the bride. I travel from the Republic of Nigeria to raise this occasion. I'm very pleased this evening to see how splendid you all are united here as Lima citizens and friends of Lima citizens. I have seen what you are doing here and I'm grateful to all of you. And I know I will take this message to Nigeria that our people, the people of Lima origin, the friends of Liberian origin that are living in the United States are doing well. Thank you for all that you are doing here today. I want to urge you to continue to support Mr. and Mr. Seto that you are joined together today as elsewhere. This should not be the end of your support for them. It should be the beginning so that their life will be a prosperous one. I thank you all for doing what you are doing here today. Before they come,
sing with me the whole get ready. The floor belongs to you. Let's get on the floor. Let's see what you can do.
If you are single in the place, all the single men, if you are single here, my man said that the West River take a layer.